So the capstones are, uh, for the directing majors, it's our senior year kind of final project that we do and it, it encompasses all the skills we learn and it's essentially a show that we pick that is produced by the conservatory in the season and uh, we get a budget and designers and um, it's cast out of the conservatory acting pool just like any other show. The cockfight play follows John who has been in a relationship with his partner for a little bit, and uh, like several years, and they've been having difficulty, and they decide to take a break because of their own problems. And in that time, John meets a woman who, you know, they fall for each other, and this kind of is the whole dilemma of the play. It's who will John pick? And and the struggle for him is, is A, that he goes back to a relationship that he already feels is unhealthy, and, and also it's challenging for him because of the way that society around him um, kind of pressures him because he has come out of the closet as a gay man and like, you know, it's really about breaking down that kind of concept that we are 100% one thing or another. And so it has a lot to do with, with him grappling with, you know, the fact that he has feelings for a woman when he's lived his life kind of thinking that that couldn't happen. So I think that we all can relate to that in, in different ways just because we all tend to question ourselves at one point in our lives. and. This puts that at the forefront of the question, and, and other than that, I mean, it's just a relationship drama. I think the thing that I love the most about the cockfight play is just the, the dialogue. It's really, really well written. Mike Bartlett does a really great job of the dialogue, and so ever since I read it, that's what really pulled me into it. And I think that has a lot to do with why I wanted to do it. It's also... Um, exciting to me because it's not pure realism and so it takes a little bit more um, kind of inventiveness to figure out how exactly the show works. The rehearsal process is exciting because really we're all in the room together, you know, the actors and I, and none of us really know what this is going to look like in the end and it really is, um, it requires a lot of just talking and figuring out the logic behind what's happening and like and because the, the scenes are such um, short snippets it's it's a lot of figuring out what's happening off the page because the writing is really well done so the scenes are um, kind of masterfully crafted but it, really the challenge is figuring out what is happening in these people's lives when they're not you know scripted I think this production really does reflect what we've all been learning here at Webster because, um, you know, when it comes down to it, this is really just a show about bodies in space and it's really about acting and, it, and so it's just really, really very technical and um, Webster also is, is very much about adaptability. It's just like kind of class, you know, like it, it, a lot of times these scenes feel like it's a scene you would do for class and there's just a bunch of them that are all put together, you know, and because of the nature of them, and they're very short, they're all like three to seven pages long, so this has really like been a really great experience in terms of figuring out um, how far we can go and kind of where our own boundaries are in terms of creativity. The Cockbite Play performs April 8th through April 10th, and if you need more information about that or how to find us, you can find us on Facebook. Just look up The Cockbite Play at Webster University.